curious to, to know how did that song come about? The Slavic Meganoth is actually from the hit show on Nashville. If anybody has listened to Nashville, which oh. got renewed by CMT, which is awesome. I watched the two hour season premiere last night with some popcorn. Nice. So I'm sorry if I sound a little busty. I was eating lots of popcorn last night. My favorite show is back on. And the whole album is actually pretty much dedicated around that show. I did a lot of covers coming into this career and mm -hmm. um, just so I could get the music more out there and right. get that fan base over and to really listen to the music and whatnot. So This Loving Big Enough is a song that the character Juliet Barnes on the show sings. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. so that's where that comes from. And speaking of covers, you actually had a viral one that, that um, Lies of the Lonely you got in 2015. It. Yeah, How Lies of that the Lonely. Like? We, I released it like three days and it had gotten 220,000 spins. Crazy. I know. And the show didn't really push the song that much. Lies oh. of the Lonely, which was crazy. I was like, this song is amazing. So I ended up uh, talking to the Orange Lounge in Toronto. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of it, but it's this famous venue that has played these amazing artists. Amazing artists from Amy Winehouse to Avery Living have right. been in that presence of that room. And I was like, let's do an acoustic version of the song. And it was the acoustic version that went viral. And then I met my producer, Douglas Romano, and we right. did the professional production of it. And it's number one on the album, Heartbreak Country. Awesome. Which is available everywhere online. That's so Hope cool. Get it. Yeah. And this is uh, the album that you released in August of 2016. That is the album, Heartbreak Country, guys. And, and this, is, this is your <laughs> first one, your debut one, right? Yeah. How was it like, how was the process? Like, in terms of recording, um, figuring out what songs go on it. What was your favorite part? Favorite part? Um, honestly, it was it was the whole experience, the whole experience of being able to live my dream, you know? And honestly, I loved the tired nights. I loved, I loved being tired doing something that made me so yeah. happy, you know? And staying up till three o'clock in the morning in this studio that was, you know, as small as a box. We, we went from recording in Nashville to recording in Toronto, which was a bigger studio, but the one in Nashville was a small little but almost a box the same size as my body, and I was just sitting <laughs> with a mic dropping down. And it was really cool. Right. The whole experience of it, and then finally having like this baby into the world, which was my first album, and this is all still pretty new to me, and Amazing. there's just so much more to look forward to, and I'm really excited to see what's coming and what everybody has to look forward to for in 2017. Did, so. I'm curious, uh, did you find when you were in the studio, because I've, like studio time can go by so quick, did you find that you forgot what day it was, or like you, you didn't know if it was night or morning? Did you oh, ever yeah. come across those, those times? I did, yeah, no, I really did. And I was like, I was so grateful when it finally came out. I was like, I, did, I thought we still had more work to do. I was like, right. did we even pick the artwork? Did we pick the, al the album, the, the flow of it? Did we get it mastered? I didn't know what, what process we were in because your mind gets so enveloped in the recording process that you don't know what still needs to be done. And right. It's really exciting, and just last week we signed an awesome distribution deal with uh, Coraline International. Amazing. Sorry, Coraline Universal. Congratulations. A, thank you, thank you. It's a division of Universal, so that means better access to the music for the fans across the world. For sure, so, yeah. And that's yeah. what you want too, right? Exactly. Can you remember the first time that you performed? The first time I ever performed? That wasn't like... Are you taught? Oh, well, if I'm going way back, mm -hmm. gosh, I'm thinking about 15 years ago is when I performed in a Dr. Seuss musical. Oh, okay. I did Dr. Seuss, yes, and it was terrible. I fell. I fell on stage. I cried. My mom right. was in the audience, and she came back and got me. Yeah. I mean, I, it was embarrassing, but I don't think there's any footage of it, so you guys can't go look for it. But so. what's interesting about that, because some kids will probably never step on stage again. But here you are, 15 years later, you've got a distribution deal, yeah. you've got an album and stuff, so that's amazing. Oh, that's not even the worst. I've had way, way worse embarrassing moments. I've had the whole Janet Jackson slip. <laughs> oh, oh, but nobody caught it, though. Okay. Nobody, nobody caught it except for my drummer, because I turned around, and my drummer was like, oh my gosh, I was like, this isn't going to happen. I'm not, gonna, <laughs> not today. Not today. Not in front of the music gods. They're not going to see the slip slip. Not right. today. Not Maybe today, later, yeah. you know, but... When you're performing in, in the Super Bowl, probably. Yeah, exactly. When you're performing in the Super yeah. Bowl, then I'll give them a good show to talk about for generations, you know? Cool. Yeah. So you're actually going on tour soon. I am. Yeah, I've got this amazing booking agent, Jeff, um, and he is working on an amazing tour for us to be on the road by the spring. Cool. So that'll be really exciting, and uh, we might be hitting up Europe this year as well. Wow. 
That's yeah. awesome. I know. Well, Caroline Universal is located in Europe, mm -hmm. and they've got a huge roster out there, so we're hoping to jump Amazing. on a tour with them. So it's going to be really busy 2017 this year, and we're so excited. Me awesome. and my band coordinator, Benjamin Pelshaw, you guys heard him playing with me. Yes. My support system. And uh, yeah, it's going to be really exciting. I'm excited, and I'm getting back in the studio at the, at the end of this month. Oh, cool. Yeah. Awesome. So. Well, we can find you at online. At Jade Maya. Uh, Jade Maya Amour, J-A-D-E-M-Y-A Amour. A-M-O-U-R. Awesome. Well, thank you so much to Thanks you. Thanks so much for having us. Thanks to Ben, ben Pelshaw for performing with you as well. And please check her out. And